Hi everyone! So today I'm going to review for you Henry Margot Harper in color 88H. Um, that's what the box looks like. I have never had Henry Margot um, wig. It feels gorgeous. Uh, this wig is from sisterwigs.com. I will leave you the link to their website. But first let's look at the cap. Okay, so this cap is just a standard weft cap, which is stretchy with adjustable straps, ear tabs, flower closed in lace, which means there is probably some permatis here, but we have lace front, which is fabulous. So I feel like Charlie's Angel. <laughs> in this wig it is gorgeous the fibers are so so light and and gorgeous so this style is is it quite wide length beautiful corkscrew separated curls it's a bit similar to John Renault's Sarah, but I would say it's a bit shorter here and the, the curls are a bit tighter and it has more layers in it, which I actually prefer. And also, can you see, it has the front bang is not as long, so uh, you can sweep it and that's what I like. This is this is the front of hair that I like and um, it has a bit of permatease, not too much, um, quite a lot of hair but I don't know if it's the, the curl because the wig feels so light and the fibres feel so so light and not very thick so it might be just um, because of the curls it feels like there is a lot of hair but i love the front i prefer this much more to john Renault sarah where i just have these long bits hanging on the side of my face i think this suits me much better and of course you get beautiful lace front so you don't have the monotop but you don't really need it because with that permatis even though this is not rooted color you can't see the permatis at all so very good i i love it i really love it now the color 88h this is a bit similar to the john renault um sarah the one that i've reviewed there was um 2070 f i think um but this one is a bit less warm it is still quite warm it has like this very very pale i would say strawberry blonde uh but it also has these lovely pearly creamy blondes and again the ends are the lightest so it's very very subtle um, it gets lighter and lighter as it gets to the end just like um, John Reno's Sarah I would say but I think I prefer this color and I prefer this haircut um, this style so beautiful wig oh really love it really really lovely um, I love the curls and I really like the front I like that I have few more layers here because otherwise if the hair not on everybody of course but on my uh, face shape if all the layers are one length quite long it just drags me down i need to have a bit of body around here and i love this shorter fringe as well so you can pad the fringe wherever you want because of that lovely um lace front um, that's so good actually. I wish that m more wigs that are just standard cap had at least the lace front because that makes the wig so much more realistic straight away. So you can just do different things with, with the fringe, you know, you can part it in a different place. Um, 
I really love it. Let me show you it from all the sides. So that's my left side. You can see, I, I feel like it is straighter at the top and then as it gets to the bottom, the curls are more defined. I would say, honestly, this is like Farrah Fawcett and <laughs> Charlie's Angels wig. Um, that's the back. Hope you can see it. And that's the right side. Gorgeous wig. I really, really love it. And honestly, the fibers feel, to me, the fibers almost feel like heat defying fibers. I'm not, I wouldn't think this would be heat defying fiber. I didn't see that saying anywhere, but. I would be surprised if it was, but it very much feels like heat defying fiber, uh, which I like. So, plenty of styling options, of course, with long wigs, especially curly wigs. You know, the usual half up, half down um, that you can do. Ponytail. Let some of those cows fall down. I think you could probably do some cute abdo as well with that one. Very glamorous, very bombshell, I would say. Um, you know, because the more you go like this, the bigger it gets. <laughs> but you can tame it. You know, you can do that with all the wigs. I might part it a bit on this side. The cap is um, quite generous, very stretchy. So I, I, I would have to tighten it a bit because it's a bit big for me. So I've got, I've got, um, I would say petite average head. I think my, um, size is 21 inches or 21 and a bit um so i've got like petite average head so but i think if you if yours is 22 or even above i think this would still fit it's generous cap beautiful and i quite like this color um it's not as ashy as i like it but it's still blonde enough um I just like when he has these flashes of that really bright blonde, you know, um, then I'm quite happy. It just looks like a natural light blonde bleached with, with sun, you know. Um, it's just a gorgeous wig. I, I absolutely love it. I would say that... Um, I would probably prefer this to John Renault and Sarah, although, you know, Sarah is 100% hand tied, so it's very, very comfortable, still very beautiful. But when it comes to style, I think I prefer this one and obviously will be much cheaper being a standard cap. Um, I am not sure um, how available Henry Margot is in uk i think afro styling does it i will check and put it in the description box but of course for us this is from sisterwigs.com um so i will leave you a link to that and i will try to find this wig for us here in uk or europe because it is beautiful wig beautiful i quite like this wig um parted in the middle on me somehow i don't know why i never ever part my hair in the middle but this looks quite okay okay my lovely so this was my review of the henry margot harpa in 88h thank you so much for watching and i see you soon stay fabulous bye